Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Dragon Quest 1 Super Famicom Remake. So last we left off, I had grinding to do. As you can see, my level is now 5. And, just to show, if I click spell here, it will only show me the spells I can cast in the field. It doesn't include the, cast I, the spells I cast in battle. So spell doesn't show you spell list, it just shows you all the spells you can cast out in the field. Status, however, you can see I'm still, I'm still wearing the club and plain clothes. We will change that in a second. But I have not just a heal spell, but a fireball spell, which is a basic attack spell. Not great, but it's really good at the beginning. A little less useful later on, though. But anyway, as I am now level 5, I have earned just enough money in the process to upgrade my gear just a little bit. And I need to go grab my torch again that I put in the vault. Because we'll be using that in a second. First, let's go ahead and buy the better weapon. This may be a shorter video. I hope it's not too short. Because what we have to do technically won't take all that long. But we have a cave to explore. And then we have a town to visit. The town the merchant over here told us about. I believe it was called Garenham in the original. The original uh, dragon warrior on the uh, Famicom. Or not Famicom, it would have been called Dragon Quest on the Famicom. But, it was, but on the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, it was called Garenham. I believe it's called Garia in this translation. Oops. I want the torch. Because we need the torch. So now let's go this way. Let us leave town. And not that I was taking any damage from slimes, but there are worse things than slimes, as you'd imagine. After all, I mean, the main enemy of this part is called the Dragon Lord. But there is a cave that we should uh, go visit. There's a cave we should go visit right up here. And there are also ghosts. I should be strong enough at level 5 to beat these in one shot. And you may be wondering, ooh, spooky cave, but there are no enemies in here. At all. But notice that we have absolutely no ability to see. Later on, we will get a light spell, so that will become a non-issue. But for now... We get a little bit of light from the torch. And it lasts for so many steps. I forget exactly how many. And if the light goes out on me while I'm in here, I will... I will, uh, hopefully cut out. But, I believe I remember most of the way I need to go here. There are no enemies in here, so that is not a concern. But we want to get up to that little, the plant you saw. We want to get up there. So we can have a general idea of where we need to go here. I forget, ex I forgot exactly how twisty this was. There aren't very many dead ends. But in here, 
What we find is a tombstone, a message. Descendant, my name is Roto. Three items necessary to cross the land of evil, which can be seen from Radicum Castle. Which I did not take a look, but yeah, there is another castle that we could see from our castle. Collect the item, cross the island, get the king, and trust those items with three wise men. Their descendants protect these items and await your arrival. So we will need to get three items. We don't know what they are yet. But the wise men will, uh... The wise men will hang on to them until we can prove who we are. You might remember one guy was saying, So, are you really the descendant? Blah, blah, blah. Which, there is proof that exists in this world. It's actually kind of hard to get lost in here. But yeah, we need to go down there just to see that. And now... Fight another ghost. Kill it in one shot. We need to go to this town over here. Because inside of it lies new power. What type of new power? You'll see. And this guy says, do you want to hear a song? Sure, why not? I'm, I'm kind of underwhelmed. And yeah, now this town is called Garai, the town of the ancient minstrel. So yeah, we went there. And they named the town after the minstrel. Monster kidnapped the princess, flew her to the east. Sure. Thanks, buddy. You're all hard there. So what do we have for items? Not much. There's not much here worth, ex worth looking at. But... If we look here, club, copper sword, an iron axe is an increase. There's a good shield right here, and better armor, which we will probably want for our journey to the east, because part of that journey to the east means crossing a bridge. Oddly enough, that bridge is not a huge difficulty spike, but it does kind of weed out most of the slimes and stuff you would typically run into. But it's not just that, it is the fact that there is a second bridge that we must cross as we continue on. And we need money. I did not look and see exactly how much money we need. But 560, so we need about 1660 to fully outquip, fully outquip, I'm not playing Quiplash, to fully equip ourselves, and unfortunately the only way we're going to get that is by grinding a whole lot. So I know this hasn't been a very long video. I kind of think it wasn't going to go that long. But the next step, now that we are up here, we gotta grind some more. Yeah. We're already at that point. So, I'm gonna get up to, well, first 1600 gold. And 
I'm probably going to, off screen, I'm probably going to try my luck in the higher area. Let's see if I can get over there. Because if I can, that will make things easier because there are tougher enemies. But more than likely, I'm just going to move back and forth around here, fighting... Oh, let's, let's actually show off the other enemy that pops up, if it wants to pop up for us. There it is, a Drakee. I can kill it in one shot. But it gives us six gold. So, in less than 200 of the... Well, not less than 200. But, just to show where we're going to go, because, like I said, this has been a very short, um, been a very, very short episode. And you may think I'm stretching out just to get this past ten minutes. It, that doesn't matter to me, because I don't monetize these things. But I generally like a fifteen-minute video anyway. We're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. We're square away from coming to it. But in the meantime, this is going to be a spot to stop the video. Because I've got grinding to do. I want to get up to about level 10 before I wander over to the next area. And see what I can do about maybe not buy... Well, I probably should bother with the axe. I probably should. So I'll have to bother with it at some point. But I definitely want the better armor, even though once we can, once we uh, continue our journey, there will be better armor yet, which we will need to grind for. This game is a classic. I'm, I'm fully willing to admit that. It it did a lot of things right, because the concept of the JRPG was pretty damn new at this point. See Hidlide for examples of that. But uh yeah, there there were definitely things that today do not fly very well. And you'll see why I chose to let's play this, is because once you skip all the grinding, it ain't that long of a game. Yeah. But anyway. Thanks for joining me everyone. When we come back. We will head over to the east, cross bridges, over river, through woods, but it ain't Grandma's house we're going to. Until then, take care, everyone.